Okay, welcome back to the Build Show. I'm Jake Bruton, and today is Rick Mills yeah, with Jackson with Jackson Andrews Building and Design, and we're going to talk inside and outside about the foundation on this home. So this block foundation is not common in my market, but it's kind of the standard yes. in your market. Everywhere out here, CMU, whether it's a slab on grade or crawl space, we're using CMU. Okay, and that's just a, a, a preference. Like, this foundation isn't stronger than a poured in place con concrete foundation and, and vice versa. It's just, this is what's it's, developed it's in the market, the market, right? It's more the market and the trades that are available here and, yeah. and their skills they have. Okay, and so what is this uh, What is this blue coating that, so that the, we have here? The blue is the poly wall system, and what we've done out here is this actual room is a mechanical room, so it's a slab inside of here. So we've really just waterproofed down to here. This little shelf is where we'll have our building stone come up off of. Uh, the slab's about here, so we're going ahead and protecting all this, get okay. the water away from there. So then we'll have, we'll have drainage down here that's taken mm -hmm. care of. Uh, I think this is a good example. If you can see the the water that's just staying on yep. it, like that's a good example of that that water's not getting through there. That that blue barrier, that poly wall, creates this monolithic coating on the outside of the yep. foundation. Uh, and then on some other spots, and we'll we'll lace in a clip here. You guys have the dimple mat applied yep. already, yep. and it feeds. It creates a void between the poly wall and the dimple mat. Yep. Get and the dimple that, mat, your. Uh, Fabric. Okay, and so then you have uh, a pressure relieved plane, a drainage plane, same as like a rain screen on your siding that leads down to your foundation drains and then take that water and yep. get it away from the foundation. Exactly. Okay, so I think the water management on this is incredible and I want to take you inside and show you what you guys have yeah. dealt with inside and how to handle this. So let's step inside real quick. Hi, we're inside the crawl space now and uh, I'm going to talk about a couple things that I think are awesome and Rick's going to walk us through the details. So this is the back side of one of those CMU walls. Uh, this wall will have insulation in the end, right? Yeah, we're gonna have a, a two inch Thermax foil face insulation going on here. And that really is just a continuation of the two inch XPS we've got here. And then we've got a 24 inch piece of XPS coming out this way. Okay, so you're insulated under, around the perimeter, and then you're you're thermally breaking this slab from the wall, yep. and that's XPS, and then we're gonna have poly ISO on the walls and that's like an R13, right? Yeah, and, okay. then, and it's got the foil face so we don't have to do uh, yep. thermal ignition or any of that kind of stuff. And so then that will be, that'll be your vapor barrier on the mm -hmm. walls as well? Yep. So all the seams on that are taped and then it tapes to this yellow product. What is this yellow product, Rick? So this is uh, Stegos 15 mil product and uh, this, this foundation's taken quite a while. We knew it was gonna be exposed to a lot of traffic and that 15 mil really is very durable for the amount of foot traffic tools coming across here and not just dealing with rips everywhere that we got to come back and retake. Yeah, so if you have a, a, a 10 mil poly even or maybe even a 6 mil poly like most people use, that 6 mil poly you walk on it on top of crushed stone, it's got holes in it instantly or you drag it around, you drag the rebar around on top yeah. of it, you're, you're poking holes yeah. in it. So I think that's awesome. We have penetrations in the foundation that are all laid out and detailed. So you're going to sleeve for other pipes and that all went in as you're stacking. Yep. We have a sump pump here for emergency use only. Yep. Uh, and then right below us here we have a floor drain. So this drain, I'm familiar with this, this actual NDS drain from, uh, we put it sometimes in front of garage doors. Yeah. So it's made to be poured in place. It's, it's plumbed to a pipe that dead ends outside to daylight, right? Yep. Okay. And so I think the interesting thing about this is once this house is built, if there's a water line break at the other end of the house, yeah. which is, what, more than 100 feet yeah. away, that water could drain to here because there's a slope. Yes. But the thing that you pointed out that I thought was awesome is what this has done for you during construction. Yeah. So you're able to not have a couple sump pumps sitting in here every day yeah, pumping, water. pumping water out because we're open to air above us and we will be for some time probably even after the Advantech sheathing goes on, it still can drain to down here. Yeah. And this is water managing and keeping your crawl space dry. It's not musty, it's, it's not covered in mud. Yeah. Like that's awesome planning. I really think that yeah. that's, that's something awesome. Is there anything else that we're missing about this? Um, I mean, I think one of the coolest things is when we were first laying this crawl space out with our plumber, uh, where we wanted drain locations to go, because we've, we've done the, a couple of these other slabs in the past and they just typically intersperse the drains throughout. We had a natural slope on the site and the, our plumber had the suggestion like, hey, just pitch the whole slab this way. 
we'll have one run of drains here. We have a couple in some odd areas, but really all the water just comes here and handled and it just it saves some uh, time, you know, going into it from trying to figure out where it, you know, 15 yeah. different drains might need to So go. that plumber's eye, he saw the slope in the mm -hmm. grade and went, why are we fighting that? Why don't we just let it be and we'll pour on top of it? Yep. That's yeah. awesome. Okay, I think that there's a lot to learn from this crawl space, and I think that might be the first time I've ever said that, uh, that there's a lot to learn from a crawl space, but I, great execution. Yeah, Thanks, appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Till next time on Instagram, I'm Jake.Bruton, and Rick Mills is... Rick.Jackson, building on Instagram. Okay, awesome. Thanks for watching.